I've got some good stuff for you today. More specifically, today we are going to be making Jack Sparrow in WWE 2K19 and hopefully the assets that are used for Jack Sparrow will transition seamlessly into WWE 2K22. As always, the assets for this particular CAW will be made available in the Discord channel, which will be linked to in the description of this video. Also, if you decide to upload this CAW anywhere, please give me some credit. For example, if you decide to upload this to Community Creations, include a hashtag, KFaveGames, or if you decide to upload this to a video platform, for example, please include a link to this channel. Otherwise, I can no longer share any assets with you guys because I am not getting the proper promotion that I need to help this channel grow. Anyway, let's get down to business. This is Jack Sparrow. I made this particular call, or CAW, however you like to say it, because... Uh, it's a throwback to no DQ CAW, if anybody remembers that league. It's actually one of the reasons that I included Jack Sparrow in Multiverse Wrestling, because I was such a big fan of, jo of Jack Sparrow and his manager Pocket If in uh, no DQ CAW. Anyways, let's get down to business. Let's get to the basics. First is his height. I made him 5'10. I made him 209. I didn't want him to be a cruiserweight. I wanted to him I wanted him to be a little bit stronger than a cruiserweight. So I made him 209, which is a little bit more than the cruiserweight weight. Next is the face. Here are the facial deformations that I use. Not everything is perfectly symmetrical because I wanted to him to have a bit of a facial. Um, making a face, so he has rather soft features here. And you'll see why I also included like the bandana in terms of the face texture. You'll see that uh, later on why I included that. Did nothing for the facial structure as usual. Next is the body. Here are the body customization presets that I used, type 2 and type 1. I did not move the slider. The only thing that I changed, I believe, are the stomach and the abs. And here are the presets that I used. The last one. And the second to last one. Next is the skin color. The presets that I used were 232, 138, and 90. Now we get to the attire. We're going to get to some face tattoos as well. For the hair, you're obviously going to give him some dreadlocks. Here are the colors that I used. 40, 20, and 3. Next is the goatee. Obviously, you're going to make it the same color. 40, 20, and 3. Here are the eyebrows. And then eye makeup. I gave him some eyeliner. And then I just made it black, of course. Um, here's the face paint that I gave him. So this should actually be a facial tattoo instead of face paint, to be honest. Um, because face paint rubs off in game. But... This is just an image of the bandana that I made to cover up his forehead. And the uh, the bandana is going to distort. There's nothing really that you can do about it. You're not going to get a straight line across the forehead. Uh, it's just going to distort regardless. But just do it enough to cover up the front of his forehead. And then I included this specific painting that is included in one of the movies. I forget which one. I just included this because I thought it was a little bit more interesting. It made the character look a little bit more interesting looking. And um, I believe I changed the opacity on it. So yeah, the opacity, I brought it down just a little bit. 
just so it looked like paint. And to be honest, I think I'm going to probably, if I can find a better picture of Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow, I want to do that because you can see like the lighting, um, the shadowing on the side, is it's pretty harsh. Next, we're going to get to the clothing. Let's start with the lower body because it's quickest. Here are the specific bottoms that I used. Notice that um, the bottoms are, they're almost high water at the bottom. And then here are the colors that I used. 15, 30, and 66. And then this belt. They kind of look like rags, so that's the reason that I chose them. Finally, you're going to end with the shoes. Here are the specific shoes that I chose. I'm going to give you a little close look at them front and back. Default material on all of them. And then finally it's the color. 104, 86, 63, all the way across. Next, you're going to do the upper body. Here's the particular open shirt that I used. And then I believe I left, I think that's the default color that that shirt comes in. 201, 185, and 171. Then I included this piece. Um, it doesn't matter if it covers up the uh, entire front and the back because you're not going to see the back of his shirt anyways. So giving you an idea of how I put it on. And then the second strap that I included under it. And then for both pieces, you're going to make the emboss 40. And I know if you watch this channel, you're in, you're pretty much tired of me saying that the emboss is 40. But yeah, that's what you're going to hear. Next is jackets. Here's the jacket that I used. Fifteen, thirty, and 66. And then the hands. So gave him some wrist tape. I made it black. And then for his finger on the left, I gave him a skull ring. Give him some, some pirate booty. And then make the material. Oh, it's deep. By default, it looks metal. So I don't think I even did anything to it. Um, but you're going to also include a ring on his other, two rings on his other finger. And I made them both gold. And as you can see, I didn't actually include a bandana on his head. I'll show you why I didn't include that bandana. So I think a bandana would be on headwear. And it just looks, look, it won't even fit <laughs> because of his hairstyle. But anyways, believe it or not, that's all there is to Jack Sparrow. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, 
and please leave a comment and I'll see you next time.